So the scenario today is that an Airbus 320 was uh, coming into Ontario and had a bird strike, diverted to this airport because they were unsafe to continue on to Ontario. And they had a hard landing because of unfamiliarity with this airport causing damage to the aircraft and the 64 souls on board were in various states of injury. This exercise in its current form has been going on for about three years, but uh, seven or eight years before that, we decided that we needed to enhance the level of preparedness and protection for mass casualty. So we started doing those on our own and that's grown to what you see today. And it's, it's lived in this iteration, much like this with multi-agencies and the whole East Valley participating for three years. This is the third annual. What you see today is uh, Sam Elwell Tribal firefighters working shoulder to shoulder with the firefighters from the city of San Bernardino, the city of Highland, the county of San Bernardino, the city of Redlands, and various other cooperators. And that isn't actually unique to an incident that's simulated today that's large and complicated like this. That's actually an everyday scenario for us. Um, California has a model mutual aid system where agencies work together, and that's true for, for the Sam Elwell Band of Mission Indians Fire Department, as well as other tribal fire departments in California, where we practice working collaboratively on what's the right resource to send to the right emergency at the right time, regardless of jurisdiction. We're regulated under the Federal Aviation Administration, and as a commercially certified airport, one of the requirements that we've got is to conduct a full-scale emergency exercise. So we have plans and we have contingency plans and then we have requirements that the FAA mandates. And today we are carrying out those emergency testing functions. So there's a lot of different elements uh, in the plan that have to be tested and, and it's great to familiarize the people that would actually respond to such an emergency to put them through those roles so they're better prepared uh, should that day come. This is a low frequency event. It means that a multi-casualty incident of this size may only occur once or maybe twice in a firefighter's career. They don't have a slideshow. They haven't had the driving experience for this kind of drill. So just like a driver ed student, we want to make sure we give as much artificial experience as we can. And that's, that is the hands-on part of this drill. Not one entity can do everything that needs to occur to keep our citizens safe. And I'm just quite proud of, of all the different agencies working so well together.